Hello everyone, this is Madhuri Upadhyaya. Today we are going to discuss zoning and land masking. First thing that we are going to discuss is fiber channel zoning. Zoning is configured on a fiber channel switches and it controls which hosts are allowed to communicate over a fiber channel network. Initiators are typically your normal servers who will be allowed to communicate with the targets back to the storage systems, but initiators will not be allowed to communicate with each other over fiber channel. If you look at the infrastructure again, here you see that you have got a normal LAN your clients are connected to the servers and the servers can connect to each other over that Ethernet network as well. Over the bottom there, fiber channel network, that's for storage. Servers need to connect to the storage system. They do not need to connect to each other over the storage part of the network. So, when we configure a zoning or our Cisco NBS switches, we are going to allow servers to connect into the storage systems, but they are not going to be connected to each other. That makes things more secure and stable. So, when we are configuring zoning, you see I've got an example here. I've got my storage system at the top. It's WWPN is that big long address you see and the storage icon. I have configured an alias to make things more convenient. Alias for the storage system is NetApps Controller 1. Then the server at the bottom has its own WWPN and we have configured alias for server 2. And server on the right has its own alias of server 2. And you can see there is a couple of MDS Cisco switches between storage and server. So, I need to allow server 1 to connect to storage and I need to allow server 2 to connect to storage as well. I will configure a separate zone for each server and I group them all into a zone set. So, my first zone name server 1 for server 1 and there I put server 1 and NetApp controller storage system. Then same for server 2. So, making both of the servers to connect to the same storage system on same WWPN. And then I configure my zone set where I group both the servers. When you configure this in your switches, typically because fiber channel replicates everything, usually it's possible if you configure this on one switch, the configuration will be automatically replicated on the other MDS switches as well. Zoning being done in that way, now servers can connect to the storage but not to each other. Now you may notice when you do that, both the servers are able to connect to storage systems but at that point they both get access to everything on the storage system. It's critical that the right LAN is presented to the right host. We want server 1 LAN to go to server 1 and server 2 LAN to go to server 2. If the wrong host is able to connect to LAN that it's not meant to, it's liable to correct it. So it's critical that that doesn't happen. So, zoning on switches prevent unauthorized hosts from reaching the storage systems and secures it from somebody plugging in and getting into the storage. But it will not prevent host from accessing the wrong LAN once it gets there. Zoning is doing nothing to prevent server 1 from accessing server 2's LAN. So, for that, we need to configure LAN masking as well. And that gets done in the storage side of the system. It locks a LAN down to the host or host who are authorized to access it. So when you are configuring fiber channel for security, you need to do both. You need to configure zoning on your MDS systems and you configure LAN masking of the storage system. So what you can see here is an example on the storage system. I create a LAN for server 1. It's a boot LAN, so I call it server 1 boot and I see that initiator that is allowed to connect to that LAN is server 1. Then I also create a LAN for server 2 which is its boot LAN and the only thing that is allowed to connect to it that is server 2. So right now I've configured zoning and I've configured my LAN masking as well. In the next part I'll tie all the concepts that we have discussed till now together and you will see the server automatically connecting to its storage.